Hello, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and all you other social medias. Uh, this is Bishop Sam. Uh, I know I haven't put out a uh, video in a while, but I think this is a very special video I'm about to do. Um, it's talking about the Viscount Legend as a MIDI controller. Uh, now, I know those of you that, um, you know, say, well, what's special about that? You'll see. You'll see. So the Viscount Legend as a MIDI controller. Today I will be controlling the HX3 organ module, which is an awesome B3 clone. Awesome B3 clone. And you know you have the awesome uh, Viscount Legend itself. Okay? Um, I'm going to play the Viscount Legend so you can kind of get, you know, the sound into your head. And... Uh, Viscount Legend. Okay, now let's get down to business. The Viscount Legend as a MIDI controller is phenomenal uh, if you're trying to emulate the B3. First of all, it's laid out just like the big boy um, and it has more tactile controls where you can go like directly to the bass, the mids, the highs, the overdrive. You can change the leakage right and spur the moment. And uh, also it has uh, uh, the tone wheel models. And the tone wheel models, like I'm playing the 70s right now, okay? I'll go to the 50s. Okay, those will come in handy very quickly. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug the the legend up to the HX3. But it's how I'm plugging it up that is so very important. All right, let's get let's get to work. I have the Hammond over there. Ha ha. Okay, I have the Viscount Legend Kibi organ. I have the HX3 organ module. And I'm coming to the back. Okay, this is very important. I'm coming out of both jacks, uh, output one, output two, into the HX3 MIDI in one and two. Okay, but I'm coming out of the output one on the HX3, and I'm coming into the audio effects return jack. Not the audio input jack, but the effects return jack. And I'm using a stereo cable. Now, you, you'll find out why that's important later. I'm using a stereo cable. 
So I want to go into the effects return. The effects return, by going into the effects return, it allows you to by bypass the attenuation uh, in the uh, audio analog input jack and go direct to the motherboard, direct to the audio board of the Viscount. So what have I just done? I just created an HX3 Viscount Legend Kibi Organ. An HX3 Viscount Legend Key B organ by going into the effects return input. Okay, now if you have a um, if you have a HX3 module, you know what I'm finna do. Okay, you want to go to uh, the menu button, go down to uh, the MIDI. You want to make sure it's on key B, key B organ, key B organ. Why? Because I'm playing a key B organ. You want to make sure it's on key B organ, store it. Okay. And then the next thing you want to do is go up to the um, audio jack configuration A. You don't want to go to B because it will not do anything. You want to go to A. And uh, you want to make sure that it's on a preset that bypasses the HX3. Now this preset, if I'm just coming straight out of the HX3 going into a, like an audio uh, PA system or, or keyboard amp, that would be good. But it's not good for me right now because it sounds like it's in another room. And when I hit the Leslie, it's out of phase. So I want to go to a preset that that's in phase. Okay. Now, store it. Everything's good. Okay. Now. You now have access to all of the audio technology that's on the Viscount Legend. All of it. You have access to the drive, to the crosstalk. I like the crosstalk because that's where you get your leakage. But in the HX3, it's called clean organ, new organ, old organ, and sleazy organ. So I'm gonna put it back on clean organ. That's what I like. All right, you have access to the bass, the mids, the treble, um, uh, the decay on the bass, pedals, the volume. Uh, you have access to, to, to all of the parameters, but there's one set of parameters I want to point out. And remember, back in the early beginning of the video, I said you can play the 70s organ, the 50s organ, or the 30s organ. Well, let's go back to the B3. When Lawrence Hammond made the B3, the output, uh, the amperage on the output was 12 amps. Nowadays, that would be illegal. Okay? These keyboards that are made nowadays are one to two amps on the output. Okay, that's it. That's it. But when I play it, watch what happens. I'm going to put it on stand. Just watch. Now you're getting ready to hear the HX3 Accessing the MIDI controller capability of the Viscount, but also the audio technology that's in the Viscount. So the HX3 is now being played through the Viscount out to my Hurricane 210 and my Leslie. All right? So.
best of both worlds. The Viscount is an awesome beast of a MIDI controller. I've never played a MIDI controller that gave me access to the, the MIDI capabilities, but also the access to the audio. Hands down, you've never played your Viscount and your HX3 that way. You can put any engine, any audio or an engine into the Viscount just by going through the effects return jack. That's it. It gives you access to everything that's in this order. Thank you, Viscount. You, it's the best of both worlds. So go out, hook your HX3 up or your Oberheim or your Yamaha or your Hammond. Make sure you come through the effects return jack and you now have access to the whole organ. You now have taken this engine and did an engine bypass and placed it into this organ. Now, remember I talked about the 70s and the 50s and the 30s? Okay. The 12 amps in the B3, the one to two amps on the output and the electronic organs. Watch this. Viscount, you gave us access to your baby. Not only am I controlling it as a MIDI controller, but I am getting access to the audio board. No other MIDI controller does that. So, oh, another thing before I go. When I cancel the, the keys, I don't lose connection to the uh, HX3. Okay, the Viscount, I'm gonna turn them back on. That controls the uh, drawbars. The Viscount is made off of a B3, like when it's fresh out the factory. When you press the key, it's automatic. It's instantaneous. But we have been playing the B3 for 50 years. That instantaneous accessibility to the keys is not there because your key bed is worn out. So, to get that more authentic, worn out sound or activity from the HX3, you just cancel that. Now watch this. <laughs> you have to go down a little bit further to access the sound. So you get a more authentic hammer. Viscount is a beast. 
it gives you access to the MIDI capability and the audio just by plugging it into the effects return jack. Thank you, Viscount. Peace!